Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is a brief review of Just Dance 2017 on PC. This is my first time with this kind of game, so bear that in mind while we go along. First and foremost, this is actually the 8th entry in the Just Dance video game franchise, but it's the first one to be available for purchase and use on PC through Steam, not taking into account emulation techniques. Now, to be able to play this game you will be required to have a smartphone and download and install the Just Dance controller app, which is available through Google Play. The download is around 75 megabytes and the total installed app is around 200 megabytes, so not a lot of space required. Your computer and uh, phone must be on the same network in order to be able to play. The Steam download is around 14 gigabytes, so a little bit more there, and you'll also need uh, to create an account on Uplay, but don't worry, that's fairly easy and simple. Connecting your phone to the game is pretty basic, the on-screen instructions being very easy to follow. First time you boot up the game you will be prompted to create a user profile, but don't worry, you can edit it afterwards. Then you can choose mobile devices or no mobile devices, but don't choose the latter one because it will literally be you just watching the gameplay itself. Next, start the app up on your phone, press enter and wait. This might take up longer or shorter depending on your phone, but bear in mind I'm also recording. From your phone screen, select the Just Dance box and wait for it to sync up. From here, very simple, select the game style, the mode, the character you want to play and start dancing. This all can be done both through the, through, your, through the keyboard and from your phone since it acts as a remote basically. For multiplayer, other people need to be on the same network as you, very important, and enter the app and they will be automatically connected to your game session. As in terms of game options, you have the basic Just Dance, Rival, where you compete against each other, or Co-op, where your scores add up. Dance Machine, where you basically need to fill up a meter, World Dance Floor, where you compete for achievements with other players, Just Dance TV, basically YouTube, Dance Quest, as the name implies, Sweat and Playlists, basically create a workout routine, Video Challenge, where you make a challenge or try to beat others, Ubisoft Club where you can unlock cosmetics and Just Dance Unlimited where you can extend your subscription in order to unlock or have all the songs unlocked. By pressing F1 you can customize your profile, view your progress or your recordings. As you complete more songs or do more challenges or get more achievements you will unlock more icons and backgrounds. Quite a lot of choices you have to choose from here. Also, it doesn't really matter if you have like a very good webcam, they automatically save it at a very low resolution or they would have to consume a lot of space to store them online. So don't worry if you think your recordings looks, look crappy. As for actual options, you get them by pressing F5 and uh, here you have for video, you have the, to, the option to choose between a full screen or windowed mode. It automatically scales to your resolution, in my case it was uh, 2160. You have the pictos, which basically shows you the dance moves, uh, lyrics, credits and auto dance, which I'm not very sure what it is. Credits are, well... Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. And tutorials, of course, which basically gives you some tips. And the option to quit game. So you could say it's uh, kinda lacking in the options department. On PC you generally expect more options, more screen resolutions, uh, sound options and that kind of thing. But uh, nevertheless, it's sufficient for now. 
Okay, now let's discuss gameplay. The controls feels pretty much on point, with the exception of some moves here and there, especially the long slow motion ones. There was no noticeable latency between the moves shown and your own, so that's a plus. Now let's address the big issue. There are two main ways to play this game. This and then this. There is so much a phone controller can do. But it's not to say you can be competitive about it or there is no skill involved. Playing against another person definitely proved how bad I am at, act at dancing. And how skill actually comes into play. Even switching the phones between us yielded in no difference in the results. It feels pretty rewarding when you are able to follow the moves perfectly and it has a good sense of progression when you unlock songs by completing others. It is very easy to be absorbed in the gameplay and go with the flow. Now couple that with the vibrant colors, high quality tracks and the ease of use makes it a very good choice for parties in my opinion. Now I would like to address some possible technical limitations. First, your phone battery will deplete pretty fast so make sure you always have a charger nearby. Second, you might need a decent computer to run this game. Trying it on my laptop, it didn't even start. Truthfully, I don't have a pretty good computer, a pretty good laptop, but it should be able to run it at low settings. And lastly, this might happen a lot. So make sure you always have a good grip on your phone or you take into account that this might happen. In conclusion, summing it all up, I would definitely recommend this game not just for one person, but for a group or a family, it's an excellent form of entertainment. As a future thought, I would like to see this being approached more like a service rather than a product and having to come up with a version each year and changing very little to the formula feels pretty cliché. Thanks for watching and have a good day.